What's up YouTube, I'm Gemrage and welcome back to another map review. Now this one is called Boundless. It is a find the button map and it is by this guy here. It's Red Reaper, I think I'm saying it right, Red Reapers. Um, but yeah, this is an unfamiliar bird's map. I've done quite a few of them recently on the channel, but I, I enjoy them. I really do. And it's the best way to explore someone's creation, you know, when they put a lot of hard work into design. And if you haven't realised, this is actually a custom texture pack as well that comes with the map. So for, as I think there's, a, yeah, there's eight levels in this. And for the amount of detail that has gone into this, it must be pretty good. So hopefully... We'll have a lot of fun on this. Um, don't forget to check out this guy's server, Atlas.mccraft.pro. I guess that's your server. I'm just making sure. Uh, is there a book or anything to read? There is a book and there's a skull. What? Oh, it's backwards. Wait, let's put that on. Is it? It's backwards. <laughs> is it? Oh, no, no, no. That is the back of the skull. That's the front of the skull. Well,. Red Reaper, shall I play as you? I'm going to play as you. Are you going to be my good luck charm? And this is a quick read of the book. Um, Boundless by Ricard, YouTube, so don't forget to check out his YouTube channel. Um, Server IP, same Twitters. Red Reaper, how to play. This is a find the button map, so simply find a button hidden on each level to progress to the next level. Good luck. If you want to reset the map, go into game as free and break the redstone block to reset the map. Okay. So we know how to cheat. Bye. Let's jump in. And as always, if you want to play this map yourself, there's a link down below in the description if you want to play along. And without further ado, let's just jump into this. Boundless by Red Reapers. I didn't know what graphic setting to have this on. So, uh, this is very dark. I don't like. Oh, there we go. That's quite good, good effect. And <laughs> just remembered the head. I'm going to take the head off just in case in one of the maps. It turns out to be a button in the head because it has happened before. Right, so anything in the chests? No, can't open them, can't open you. Anything hidden behind the chests? It, it has happened too many times. Uh, nope. Okay, nothing down here, I don't think. I could easily walk straight past the button and I would not know it. Uh, oh god, this, this is actually quite a tiny map. Question is, is a button up there? Can I go? Oh, quite this part. Oh, wait, wait, there's an up upstairs bit. I'm just spamming the mouse button just in case there's a button up there, but no, there doesn't seem to be anything at all. Okay, you'd think the first level is easy, and it seems to be jumping straight in. It's like, yeah, screw you, screw you, Jay Rage. Yeah, I absolutely screw you around. I'm gonna mess with your head. Well, sir, you are. <laughs> right, we're just down there, won't be a moment to go. So, anything to the stairs? No. This is not easy at all. Just, just straight off the bat. This is genuinely not easy. I like. I like I like a challenge, and on top of this, it's got a te custom texture pack. So, well, that's just the wooden button which we had in the main bit. I don't even know whether we actually know what the official button even looks like. Anything behind there? No. Huh. Oh, there is. Well played. Well played. Level two. So that's seven more levels to go. Oh God. That, that took a bit longer than I wanted to, to find one button. Uh, but these maps are beautiful. I think there's a lot of thought gone into design of these. Even though it looks like a mess, it actually looks like a nice mess. If that makes sense, because this is that ruined mine shaft does look like. Alright, so he likes to be clever with where he hides things, so it wouldn't be too obvious. Then again, they could troll and revert between the levels. Oh, I think behind that. No. Um, huh. Nothing. Nothing at all. I am perplexed. This is a bit smaller, and yet I'm not seeing anything at all. 
Oh. I'm sure there'll be someone out there who just loves trolling people and who just take all the sound bites of me just making village noises. <laughs> just, oh, there it is. I just, I just saw the shadow reflecting on it, but you see it there. Boom. That wasn't too bad. But I'm sure someone out there will take all my village noises and will just troll the hell out of me, and I think that'll be a good laugh. <laughs> oh, God. Right, so let's have a look right in the beginning. It's nothing there. Just... You've got to just like take segments and just look in every single crevasse. Because Red Reaper does not mess around when he hides his button. He really doesn't. So we'll come back to the water segment. We'll just try and make sure it's not on the rock segment. That's all. And it's a bit of an odd little indentation in the roof, but... There we go, I guess. But I really like the look of these. I really, really, really do. So, level design is gotta be a nine. Easily, easily. Even though it's not over the top buildings and such, you don't really need that in the Find the Button map. Uh, there we go, there's a button. <laughs> oh, did I have to go in the water? And I like the attention to detail. It's like a lot of people will just top up you straight into a level and just say, right, go find the button. You get that little blindness effect, and I like that little touch because that's attention to detail that a lot of people will just overlook. Right, let's start on this side. I like to eliminate anything at all. Hmm. He also seems to have hidden the button three times in the roof so far, which is not a good sign. Oh god, that's deep. I bet it's going to be in the water, actually. We'll just eliminate, we'll just eliminate, but I think I'm going to have to go down, I guess. Oh, got a tunnel, oh, got a tunnel. I'm going to drown. I'm not going to drown. <laughs> This looks familiar. Just saying, just saying. Oops. Right, we're gonna have anything hidden under or around the chests. Yeah. No. Do we? No, there isn't. I could sworn there's like a void behind this chest, but there isn't. Oh, there is behind this chest, however. Oh, there it is! Booyah! <laughs> that was actually very hard on kudos. Kudos. I'm steamrolling through this now. Right, let's start on this upper platform. And then we'll go down to the maze. Down this, whatever the hell you want to call it, down there. The moment in this. We can just glance the button at a glance. Because sometimes you do see it. Depending on the lightning effect. But it looks like there isn't one easy to spot. So, ground. There's nothing on the ground. There's nothing there. What about in the wall? Hmm. No. Okay. Okay. So, that's. That bit eliminated. What under here? I'm, sorry, I'm just <laughs> not talking because I'm concentrating so much because this map is a lot trickier than you think because a stone button could really melt out it. There it is. Got ya. But it could really blend into a stone surface. Oops, Particle effect, but there's a bat in here, then I was like, oh shoot. Right, let's take the waterfall. Nothing behind the waterfall, okie doke. But there is a trend, the buttons seem to be facing down. Huh. Oh, we've got a long way down. Let's just make sure that we're not gonna hop on and get all the way back up. Can I 
Oh, okay. oh. Let's run straight into it. The best troll would be to hide the button up there. <laughs> really, when everyone's just gonna go whoop, straight down to the water down there, aren't they? They aren't gonna look up here. Oh, like like that. Let's explore down here anyway. Uh, okay, nothing in there. Nothing. Nothing behind there. There's quite a few of these, which lead me to think that it's gonna be behind one of these. Nothing there. Oh, just keep keep going. Just keeps on going. So the question is, why have this here? There's the button. No, how the hell? Do you how, how do we get that button? It better not be a troll button because that's going to be quite difficult to get to. Uh, I go there, there, I guess. Hmm. This is going to be a hard one to get to. I really, really hope it's not as difficult as I think it's going to be. But for someone like me who hates parkour, and I generally, generally hate parkour. Right, let's go around there, then down there, and then it is. Uh, ah, balls! That's that's gonna be a pain in the ass. At least it's not hidden then parkour. It's just a matter of jumping and timing the press the button at the same time, which I'm terrible at. So let's, let's go be terrible at this together. <laughs> right, so the button is up there. And I just can't spam it fast, fast enough. <sighs> Unless there's any, I can't see an easier way in the room to do it. I really can't. And I don't want to spend too long trying to cheat this. Cheat this? Do this. So I, I'm going to have to cheat it. Oh, there, oh, I could do that. <laughs> Dip. Right, level seven. Ah, right, there's just one more level after this, so. But there's, there's a cavity underneath that, so. Is he gonna have done the same on this one? Right, what have we got? We've got a whole, this looks like the first map again. Maybe maybe it's a twist on it. Let's, let's investigate room by room. So there's no underwater cavity. Wait, there is. This better not be a maze inside a maze. It's going to so wind me up. Right, let's eliminate this room. Go on. Oh, there's nothing behind that chest. There's a furnace. There's nothing behind that one. There's nothing behind that. There's nothing behind that chest. Okay, so there's nothing in this room at all. I think this is a decoy room. That makes you think, oh yes, I found that button. And then you realize, oh no, there's that button. The button is a lie. But let's just check. Uh, no, right. So that's one room down. Rip. I, this is what I like, just just exploring. It's so much fun. It genuinely, genuinely is. It really is. When, when, when there's a good build like this, this is worth the time. Just, just go around it. Right. Anything over here? Just check, check in mind every chest because I've got a nasty feeling. That's where it's going to end up being. Anyway, what's up there? What's up there? This this is this is a copy of the first level. It's got the exact same structure there. How did you get up? Right, we've eliminated that room. We've kind of not explored the corridor here, but we can come back to that. Here we go. Let's 
go around and nope nada zip zip right let's have a look in here quickly what's down there Hmm. I'm definitely sounding like a village right now. Let's just go down. Let's go down into here and let's try and find the button. The button's got to be down here. If it's not down here, then we're going to have problems. Ooh. What's that? Is that a void behind there? No, it's not. Balls? Well... I don't know where this button is. Wait, 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 wait. Nope, nothing in there. Hey. Hmm. And if, if anyone else has seen it by now, just, just put a comment down below saying, You say, you freaking baboon. But no, I can't actually see it at all. And this, this level is so complica complex that it'll probably take a while to find. Okay. I wonder, what's it? Is that... <laughs> what's a button? I was looking for the fridges! Right. Uh, this is the last level. So that took me half an hour to find the last button hand on the thing. That is really, really stressed me out. <laughs> and I even tried to cheat um, by going to spectate. Because hand on heart, you can't even see it in spectate mode. Generally, can't. Why am I still blind? Infinity blindness, great, lovely, nice last level. But yeah, um, if you go into spectator mode, you can't actually see the buttons anyway because there's no command blocks attached to them because the whole thing's done underground. So you can't actually cheat this level, which is great. And I'm stuck with infinity blindness as a result of that. So the question is. Wait, this is just the same level over and over again, isn't it? Is this a memory game then? Because, oh, it was, no, it was down there in the last one. Oh my god. This is actually hurting my eyes. I, I do apologise. This is genuinely hurting my eyes because it's all dim. I know it, it looks a lot brighter on the recording, which is fine. In fact, I might just look at on that screen. It does look a bit silly. But this permanent blindness is actually irritating me. I might have to throw the towel in for this just because I can't complete this level like this. It's it's way too dark. Uh, yeah, but I don't know. And my eyesight is sensitive to light and dark colours. So, and that's why I have to wear glasses. But because of that, it's quite hard to stare at a dark screen for so long. But we'll, we'll, we'll have we'll have that. But hopefully, we'll see what we can do. But I really, really think I'm not going to be able to find this unless I get a lot of a lot of luck. I'm not making excuses. I'm genuinely, genuinely not liking this dimness. It really is. But I'm kind of uh, thinking that the map is the same again. Because huh. I don't know how simple the map design is, you could have easily added a different variant to it. It says you're using the same over and over, unless that's part of it. Unless it's part of the thing. Uh, anything else? It's like a block. Like, 
for every nook and cranny as well. That's a hard bit. I'm in this room because I know the rest of it's quite dark. I've got little red sun torches here. And it really does a world of good. It really does. Um, wow, this this is going on forever. Right, so uh, let me sit down there. I guess we go up. We've not had to think up. Where's the way up here? Isn't it? Oh no, it's gonna go dark. I'm just spamming the button now, my mouse button, just to see if I accidentally get a click on it. <laughs> so I can do. It really is. That's all I can do anyway. Generally, generally, I don't know. I could, I could try and cheat this, but I don't think that would be fair to the map creator. They put all this effort into this map. The buttons there. I'd rather just say, look, I'm gonna throw in the tower. I'm gonna spend one more minute looking for the button. I don't like cheating. It's not my thing. And uh, having discovered, you can't cheat this map anyway. You've got to spend hours looking for something. <laughs> but that coupled with the fact that I'm stuck with permanent blindness is kind of nah. I don't like the idea. I feel like I'm just going round in circles. Have we checked above? Actually, in here. No. Okay, nothing in here at all. Where's our hole down? Have we been down here? I can't remember now. <laughs> Everything looks so grim. So, you know what? I'm going to throw in the towel. Well, let's have a look. Let's see if we can spot it. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. This, this is how the maps look. As you can see, that's pretty, pretty impossible. Uh, I just going to game mode one to go first to get rid of the darkness. Um, let's get a bucket of milk. Right, get rid of it. Yes. Right. So let's go into game mode three. Let's see if we can spot the button. But th th this is what the maps look like, so you can't actually cheat. There's no command blocks. It's all underground. So this is above ground, as you can see. So you've got to try and figure out where it is. And you can't actually see it in spectate mode. So <laughs> it's, it really is sucky because you're like, uh, you don't know where to even start. Oh, that's a button. There's no way I would have found that. Especially with blindness on. There's, there's no one in their right mind to find that button there. At all. Maybe if blindness wasn't on, they'd have a bit of a chance. Well, I think that is overkill for this level. Let's just go click it and see what happens at the end. Um, the end. There we go. That, that's the end of it. Holy shit, that hurt my eyes. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go and have a nap now. Because <laughs> my eyes are all sore. But anyway, that, that's it for this map. So I've really enjoyed that. So thank you very much, Red Reaper. Uh, for everyone else watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you want to play it yourself, there's a link down below in the chat. Don't forget to check out his server. And don't forget to check out his YouTube channel, which I kind of... It's, it's Red Reapers, if I remember quickly. Just rewind to the beginning of the video. It is there in the book that I've read. Uh, but yeah, for everyone else, thank you very much. Uh, don't forget to leave a rating and subscribe to the channel. We are aiming for 100 subscribers. Or at least five likes in the video would be nice. I don't know. That would be nice. But anyway, thank you and goodbye.